Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> Today is the day that we are going to eat. And eat, and eat, and eat. And after we eat, and eat, and eat, the real fun begins. Oh, shh. Let's not tell them that. First, let's update them. This isn't her vlog. Dad, it's her first holiday in the city, and right now it looks like we aren't going to get to see her. Okay, so a few videos ago, you saw how my mom tried to set me up with some woman, and it didn't really work out. I think it upset her. If you're just now tuning into our videos, he's gay and I'm straight. Ting. It's kind of like a catchphrase. I'm cool with it, but she's not so much. My mom is one of those people who, when she gets upset, she crawls into her own little cocoon and doesn't come out until she's ready to say hi. <laughs> it's just her own way of processing things. We'll keep you updated on her progress. Okay, so fun holiday stuff. All right. While he's making the Thanksgiving meal in the kitchen, I've got the Thanksgiving scene from the Adams Family Values where Wednesday ruins the Thanksgiving play at camp on repeat. <laughs> it's a classic. I've been trying to make him change that movie forever, but he just won't budge. While he's doing that, I'm in the kitchen making the meal with my headphones in listening to the football games. We usually sit down to eat about 1.30. You're probably asking why so early. We take a nap. Because the real fun begins at midnight. Let the record show that I was forced into this tradition, and believe me, I didn't want to do this, but my dad forced me to, and it turns out that I really enjoyed it. I had a tradition to uphold, and I owned the entire collection, and I wasn't going to leave him in the apartment all by himself, or hire a babysitter and pay them time and a half so they could watch him sleep. I was ten. I could have home alone it. Yeah, that was never going to happen either. Mm -hmm. Come to think of it, since you've been in my life, I've never even had to hire a babysitter. Crazy, huh? I wonder I'm such a daddy's boy. So what's the tradition? Black Friday. Woo! Before Max, every year I'd always go to this department store where their doorbusters were these little Disney snow globes. The advertisements always say one per customer, but I always get an extra. Snow globes are glass. Glass breaks. Always, always good, good to have, have a backup. backup. I was upset that year. It was the year that my mom passed away and it was my first family holiday without her. And I was not in the mood. And he wasn't making friends with my kitchen utensils yet either. So I decided to take him to the hometown buffet. That way he could get whatever he wanted. Things went south after he didn't take a nap. I didn't know what to do. He never told me. I did so tell you. Well, I tried to tell you. We weren't exactly talking at this point. Anyway, come midnight, he started to fall asleep on the mission and I needed my soldier to be wide awake. I also needed to pick me up, so I made a slight adjustment to the tradition. This new coffee shop had just opened up in the parking lot, and amazingly, they were open. I had my first and last cup of coffee. <sighs> Gross. I don't drink coffee, so I ordered a peppermint hot chocolate. Ooh, which I downed half of because it was so good. Now, every year, we both get a peppermint hot chocolate. It's our tradition of ending Thanksgiving and starting off the Christmas season. We call it the transition drink. <laughs> Have you ever told Dylan about the transition drink? Uh, no, I don't need to tell him that I cheat on his business one day a year. I mean, he is open during Black Friday, too. Anything to make a buck. I know. When he finds out... He's he... not going to find out. After we get our transition drink and after we get our snow gloves, we go home and go to bed. To this day, we own every single one. And we're doing it again this year. <laughs> Again with the camera. How many pictures do you two take of yourselves? 